your response? Well, we'd obviously like to congratulate uh, Tito Merweni, uh, who has essentially been plucked from political obscurity and appointed as the new finance minister in South Africa. We feel, obviously, that with his experience, uh, he should have the capacity to hit the ground running, and he is at least known by market participants, uh, by rating agencies, and, uh, of course, by international financial institutions uh, who monitor events very closely uh, in South Africa. We do have some uh, residual concerns, uh, and that is, I, uh, earlier you mentioned that he had a conversion and was very pro-business uh, during his period at the Reserve Bank. Uh, but I think uh, if you certainly look at uh, his recent uh, social media posts, one is left with the impression that he might have had a second conversion uh, to radical economic transformation uh, because there are several tweets which uh, frankly come over as a little bit loony uh, where the minister is tweeting, for example, that he believes that 40% of the mining industry should be owned by the state in South Africa. So I think that the minister's first order of business is to clarify his views, and I hope that he clarifies his views uh, in uh, the run-up to the medium-term budget policy statement, uh, which of course takes place in two weeks' time uh, in Parliament. All right, so you're saying we're dealing with something of, of an unknown, surprisingly. Uh, I, I think uh, that uh, on balance I would uh, agree that if one looks at the, the new finance minister's track record uh, that he is probably uh, pro-markets. Uh, but I do think that if one looks perhaps uh, at his record in the last uh, six months or a year, uh, there is now some residual uncertainty uh, about his views. Uh, and I think that these probably need to be clarified sooner rather than later, and certainly before uh, the medium-term budget policy statement in two weeks' time. What do you think should be top of his agenda? Well, at the end of the day, and I don't think that this will change, uh, National Treasury's uh, primary objective is to stabilize national debt. Uh, and I think what needs to be top of the minister's agenda is obviously a razor-sharp focus on the medium-term bu budget policy statement. And he's going to have to demonstrate how in an environment with lower economic growth uh, and additional cost pressures on uh, the current spending side of the equation, particularly the public uh, service wage bill, how he is going to uh, balance the books and essentially hold the fiscal line uh, in South Africa. Very much. Uh, Shadow Finance Minister DA's David Manier, uh, live for us uh, from Cape Town. We take a short break.